Uh, thank you again for joining us for the 2020 CERC Research Review uh, for our final session, uh, Saving the Best for Last. It is my distinct honor to introduce Dr. Barry Bame, the chair of our CERC Research Council. And in his role as principal investigator, he'll be presenting updates on CERC Research Task WRT 1016, Reducing Total Ownership Cost and Schedule. And with that, I turn it over to you, Dr. Beam. Okay, thanks, Mimi. So, good morning, everyone, or good afternoon if you're in the East, uh, Eastern time. Uh, uh, the long-term transition goal for this WRT 1016 uh, project is, is to uh, 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 improve complex system projects to reduce their total ownership costs by using better methods, processes, and tools satisfying their non-functional or quality requirements, NFRs. Compared with functional requirements, the NFRs are more difficult to specify and are given lower priority during system definition than the functional requirements. They often cut in they're often in conflict with each other. As one example of our major DOD project, the security team proposed to minimize their vulnerability profile by having a single copy of the database and a single agent key distribution, only to have the reliability team point out that they would be creating two serious single points of uh, failure. Among the potential tools and guides resulting from the research are major extensions of the tools developed in the previous CERC system qualities, ontology, trade space, and affordability project uh, in the CERC. Uh, for example, the system qualities understanding by analysis of abundant da data, uh, 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 squad is its name, uh, tool for large-scale life cycle analysis of cost software technical debt was successfully used on a Navy application and scaled up to analyze the technical debt histories of 1.3 billion lines of code across three large companies in 15 years. So it's a very a powerful, scalable tool. We are also developing an extension of the constructive cost model, Kokomo, estimating the cost of security critical software. Its current definition was presented at our recent annual Kokomo forum at which attendees from the Navy, NASA, JPL, Aerospace Corp, the Software Engineering Institute, and several aerospace companies were interested in participating in its definition and calibration. Uh, so our USC Center for System and Software Engineering and the CAST organization uh, are co-sponsors of something called the Consortium for Information System Quality, which has strong support from the Department of Homeland Security, the Defense Department, and other federal organizations. And we participate in, in the CISQ events information involving information system security cost estimation. So we used our system and software qualities ontology as a basis for reorganizing the quality section of the specialty engineering part six of the system engineering body of knowledge. Uh, so that was a, a useful uh, a uh, uh, step forward for the body of knowledge. Uh, We're also working on an update of our system qualities, system and conflicts matrix that uh, like the things that you we, we just talked about between uh, uh, conflicts between optimizing on security and optimizing on reliability uh, for in industry and government organizations to evaluate the side efforts of, of changes in, in, in the system qualities. So let's uh, do a, uh, an overview of the squad system called uh, uh, System Quality Understanding by Analysis of uh, uh, Abundant Data.
So uh, we'll show an example of, of how it uh, uh, did the large-scale data analytics. Uh, uh, we'll we'll uh, go through uh, uh, mining a software repository uh, and what you need to do in uh, uh, analyzing the commit levels of, of, of the evolution of a software system. Uh, we'll uh, see how these connect with other kinds of uh, software quality metrics. Uh, one of the biggest ones is technical debt, uh, which uh, I'll explain a little bit later. Uh, uh, size, code quality, and, and security. Uh, uh, one of the things that, uh, that we do is, is to look at uh, it when somebody uh, makes a commit to evolve their system to the next uh, uh, version is uh, uh, to analyze the impact of doing that and uh, making sure that uh, 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 the impact is, is, is uh, appropriate. So in some cases, the impact is not appropriate because the change didn't even compile. So, uh, so uh, the system does uh, catch things like that. Uh, and uh, 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 what you'll see is uh, uh, some case studies and uh, something that we are uh, being uh, asked to, uh, it, it's currently on a public cloud, which means that uh, you couldn't use it for classified applications. So we are gearing up to do a private cloud version. So we'll go forward and do a demo and discussions and conclusions. So again, uh, <clears throat> uh, each uh, line of code in Java has uh, five dollars and forty-two um, cents worth of technical debt. Uh, uh, so if you uh, had a, a big program with a million lines of code, uh, you'd have five million. Uh, dollars worth of technical debt. Uh, software defects uh, cost uh, over a, over a trillion dollars, uh, uh, affected over 4.4 billion people. And, and again, as people are, are generally aware, 75% uh, uh, of the system's lifecycle cost is spent on software maintenance. So you really want to build maintainable systems and have tools that uh, make it easy to maintain. So uh, let's take a look at, uh, 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 I think this is just a little summary of, of, uh, of, uh, uh, of, uh, of the uh, squad uh, presentation. So uh, one of the things is uh, basically summarizing the uh, large uh, analysis that was done on uh, 1.5 billion uh, lines of code from Apache, Google, and, and Netflix. So again, uh, most of this was being done uh, on uh, with the Java programming language. And uh, so uh, what we'll see in, in this application is uh, 100 provisions of, of the core mod, mod, module. And uh, so again, uh, I mentioned these, uh, this uh, big experiment that we did uh, uh, took uh, uh, 17 years of, of Apache uh, software evolving, uh, 11 years of, of Google and uh, eight years of uh, of uh, Netflix. Uh, so again, across uh, uh, 17 years, uh, uh, what uh, you had was that uh, you had 38 Apache systems, uh, uh, 18 Google systems, and uh, uh, 12 Netflix systems. Uh, and so uh, there, there were a lot of uh, impact and I'll explore, uh, explain impact in, in a bit. Uh, so uh, 
if we slide this uh, 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 right hand uh, uh, la layer up. Uh, so Apache had uh, 734 million lines of code. Uh, Google had 760, Netflix had 37. So again, it was a, a billion and a half lines of code that uh, the uh, uh, squad system was able to analyze and give you your uh, life history of, of your technical debt. So here's sort of a summary uh, and uh, what it can do is uh, uh, tell you what the <clears throat> compilation ratio is, which is basically uh, uh, how, how, how often do uh, various uh, company software uh, uh, have uh, <clears throat> significantly below 100% compilation every time they, uh, uh, they uh, do a commit. <clears throat> and what you can see is that uh, uh, Netflix has a lot more uh, um, uh, amounts of technical debt that uh, that uh, come, and uh, uh, Google is, is the most uh, careful about the <coughs> their uh, uh, technical debt, and uh, Apache is is somewhere in the middle. So again, what you can see is that uh, Google is ninety nine percent. Uh, uh, perfect in uh, in uh, evolving their systems. Uh, uh, Apache is in the middle with ninety eight point four percent, and uh, uh, Netflix is is, is is the least uh, with ninety four point three percent of of all the commits that they do uh, that are uh, uh, safe. So. Uh, what uh, Squad has been able to do is to uh, uh, build on a lot of uh, other uh, tools that are around. Uh, so uh, one of these, for example, is called SonarCube. And basically what it will do is uh, 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 analyze uh, and give you all, all of the physical lines that you have uh, uh, added and, and deleted, uh, and uh, and it will also uh, give you what functions are going on. And as you can see, uh, under code quality, it, it also uh, it tells you the, the complexity of your system and things called code smells that basically say uh, you, you probably are, are, have a uh, uh, a, uh, a system that uh, or, or a change that uh, uh, is going to uh, cause a, uh, a crash. Uh, 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 so in our cube also uh, in security will uh, identify a number of vulnerabilities. Uh, find bugs is, is another tool that uh, uh, basically uh, 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 focuses on analyzing classes and uh, 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 does look primarily for malicious code and, and, and security problems. Uh, and uh, PMD is a, a, a tool that uh, uh, does a lot of analysis of various aspects of, uh, uh, of, uh, uh, of uh, code problems of empty code or uh, unused code or unnecessary or uh, uh, or the like. So, um, um, and it also looks at uh, 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 violations of, of, of security guidelines. So again, uh, you can see that uh, the, these uh, tools have different uh, um, metrics and uh, uh, they uh, uh, give you a multi-perspective analysis of the quality evolution. So that's what uh, um, uh, Squad uh, does for you. Uh, an example of, uh, of uh, what it was doing uh, over a period of, of nine years, uh, 
uh, on a large uh, system. And what you can see in the upper uh, 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 display is the life history of the project in terms of its number of lines of code. And uh, uh, it also uh, uh, color codes who is, is doing the commits that added the lines of code or deleted the lines of code or things like that. So, uh, so again, you can see the, the green team started out uh, doing a, a lot of the early uh, uh, additions, uh, but uh, the, eventually the blue team did a number of additional things and uh, and then you can see later on some uh, red teams and yellow teams were, were um, um, adding more to the uh, uh, system as it evolved. Uh, uh, the uh, uh, lower uh, display uh, uh, says uh, uh, that uh, when people started picking up this system and, uh, and uh, uh, working with it, uh, that uh, uh, the blue team and, and particularly the green team found that there were a lot of cold smells that they wanted to get rid of. And um, so they cleaned up the uh, system. And uh, again, what you can see is, is the life history of uh, uh, when the uh, uh, blue team was uh, uh, evolving the system with relatively little addition of technical debt. And, and then uh, they uh, did some more complex things that added, added to the technical debt. And the green team uh, picked it up and add, added some more. And uh, so uh, again, what you can see is uh, over a period of nine years, uh, you can see which uh, organization was uh, adding more uh, and which one was uh, uh, causing dips in, in the uh, 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 so the dips are, are things where people were cleaning up the system the, the uh, things that were going upward were, were adding to the technical debt so uh, again the tool is is very valuable and uh, uh, giving you the life history of a very complex, uh, very long nine-year uh, period of, uh, of, of uh, a, uh, a very... Uh... So uh, basically that's what SQUAD is, uh, is doing. Uh, it stands for Software Quality Understanding by Analysis of Abundant Data. And again, it's an automatic cloud-based infrastructure to retrieve a su subject system's information from various sources, like its commit history or its issue repository. Uh, it distributes hundreds of rele relevant uh, revisions on multiple uh, in instances and uh, Efficiently, efficiently compiles each one and runs static dynamic program analysis tools of it with uh, uh, PMD and solar, son, sonar cube and, and find bugs and, and the like. Uh, and uh, uh, it adds value to those by collecting and interpreting the uh, artifacts generated by the program analysis techniques to extract quality attributes or uh, calculating change. And, and again, uh, if you are the owner of this software, it's, it's valuable for you to uh, understand uh, uh, how uh, the, the software quality has uh, evolved. Uh, uh, if, uh, if it's been uh, uh, evolved by different teams, it can uh, basically uh, give you an understanding of which teams were best at uh, uh, improving the quality or uh, uh, degrading the quality. And uh, again, frequency of code smell introduction or correlation between two quality attributes. Uh, 
it does those kind of analyses. And, uh, and again, uh, we also have some uh, uh, of, of our PhD students who are uh, uh, applying machine learning techniques uh, to see uh, uh, what can we predict about uh, 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 the next uh, 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 quarter of evolving this system uh, and which uh, organizations we're going to uh, uh, be active or less active or uh, more uh, sloppy or yet less sloppy in, in, in evolving their system. So to summarize what SQUAD is all about, it is a novel mining software repository approach, a high maximum compilation over commit history, a large scale multi-perspective analysis of software quality evolution, and a better understanding of life cycle software qualities. So uh, I think that summarizes what uh, uh, we've been doing on uh, the squad system and, and what it uh, helps you do for uh, improving your software qualities. So again, that's its name. So uh, the other uh, main uh, project that we've been doing uh, in WRRT 016 is to uh, uh, come up with an ex extension of the constructive cost model of uh, or uh, uh, for general software cost estimation and to uh, 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 develop a uh, an extension that can est estimate for you the costs of secure software development. Uh, so uh, uh, th this was a uh, talk that was uh, a webinar for the Consortium for Information and Software Quality, which is a combination of uh, uh, software systems, system engineering organizations, and government uh, consumers of, of, of software. And uh, uh, so uh, CISQ is, is uh, the uh, consortium of information system qualities. And so uh, they asked us to do a, a webinar on the uh, um, uh, uh, Constructive system uh, software engineering, uh, 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 constructive uh, security cost model 2021, which Elaine Jensen is uh, our PhD student who is uh, doing the uh, the the uh, most of the research on this, and so this was a presentation that we did for the Consortium on Information System Quality and all, all of its uh, 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 users. So uh, we'll uh, look at yeah, what cost effectiveness of secure software development. Uh, uh, you wouldn't be putting a lot of money into uh, uh, security if you didn't think that it was going to save you at least that much money in, in uh, avoiding insecurities in your software. Uh, we'll look at sources of cost and secure software development in terms of security practices, security controls. Uh, uh, one of the things that Elaine did was an application survey where she uh, 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 got the LinkedIn community to uh, uh, have uh, over a hundred different organizations uh, 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 identify what they found were the most uh, and least uh, uh, powerful capabilities for improving or, or uh, 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 having difficulties with security. So, uh, 
Uh, that's what she's been using for a lot of, of, of her work in, in uh, developing a model. And uh, so we'll uh, look at the model that, as it's evolving now, uh, some open issues and opportunities, and uh, what are our next steps in, in uh, uh, being de developing uh, uh, COSECMO 20, 2021. So, uh, uh, so uh, uh, here, one of the things that, that Elaine did, and uh, it was, was a, a, a thorough uh, um, uh, uh, research of, of all of the uh, uh, literature that, that addressed uh, uh, building uh, secure systems and, and what their cost is and, and what their uh, what deficiencies they find in security. So uh, here's an example from her literature review that uh, said that uh, uh, the biggest source of, of security breaches was uh, buffer areas. Uh, that 93% uh, uh, of the buffer areas were only uh, due to a single condition, a failure to uh, check the array boundaries so that you uh, 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 left your buffer uh, uh, open to exploitation. So you can see there's uh, uh, some other uh, significant uh, sources of security breaches like uh, cross-site uh, scripting uh, information, uh, uh, leaks, uh, permissions, privileges, and access uh, that uh, give access to the wrong people, input validation that doesn't check for, for the validity of inputs, uh, resource management errors, uh, cross-site uh, request uh, forgery. So uh, again, if people pop in and uh, rep represent themselves as part of your team, but end up uh, just creating security problems. So you can see that uh, yeah, she has found a, a lot of uh, 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 literature like this that has gone into the research of uh, how do we build an uh, a, a tool that will estimate the, the cost of uh, developing the system for security and also the benefits of having done that. So again, uh, uh, what uh, she has been trying to do is uh, uh, identify uh, you know, what, what is the uh, 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 payoff for, for doing uh, 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 extra work to make sure your system is secure and that uh, the higher your security level, uh, 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 the uh, uh, the more the more it's going to cost, but also the more it's going to benefit. So uh, let's look at some of the sources of cost in secure software development. Uh, so some of these are, are just uh, general security practices, and and other ones are specific uh, controls of people that are uh, building the software and. Uh, 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 successfully or unsuccessfully controlling the software as, as they build the software. Uh, then we'll follow up uh, by uh, showing what her uh, survey of uh, security practices uh, 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 told us. Um, and uh, uh, the models that we are uh, creating for uh, costing secure software development uh, which is uh, uh, still uh, uh, has open issues, but uh, again, uh, uh, COSECMO 21 is indicating that uh, she is getting close to uh, having a, uh, a, uh, uh, a well-calibrated model by, by next year. So uh, again, you know, what, what our PhD students generally do is, is to do uh, uh, literature reviews to see uh, what kind of things uh, uh, are 
most addressed in in, in, in uh, uh, papers that were uh, uh, giving uh, uh, results of uh, of, uh, of security analysis and finding that uh, uh, some of the most uh, significant sources were having uh, uh, regular security reviews, uh, uh, having threat modeling so that you, uh, uh, as you're building your software, uh, frequently you'll, you'll have something called a red team that will uh, 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 identify potential threats that you need to make sure that you don't uh, 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 fall victim to. And uh, uh, having various ways of, of testing the security uh, and uh, applying uh, general requirements for secure systems, uh, uh, applying various tools that, uh, again, like you were seeing with SQUAD, uh, uh, that uh, uh, it will take a big piece of software and, uh, and identify the security def deficiencies in it. Uh, uh, and uh, implementing countermeasures. So uh, again, one of the things that you want to do is uh, if you have hackers, uh, 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 trying to uh, uh, mess up your security, uh, uh, you want to have countermeasures that will uh, 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 in, in some of the most more striking uh, uh, countermeasures is, is to uh, 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 turn the uh, uh, the uh, security breaches on on the breachers and uh, and uh, have them the, be the victims of their own uh, uh, own, uh, own uh, uh, technology. Or uh, you can look for vulnerabilities and fix those, or you can have secure coding standards or data classifications uh, or operational. Uh, so uh, again, uh, uh, what she was able to find by uh, looking out at all the lists of uh, the, the literature was uh, that there were a lot of uh, you know, important things to do and, uh, uh, and that uh, uh, you can see which ones uh, passed the test of being uh, 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 a, uh, a technique that was uh, uh, reflected in, in 21 papers or 18 papers or two papers or one paper and, and the like. So uh, again, uh, what you want to do if you're going to develop secure uh, software, you want to uh, uh, build the security in uh, uh, and uh, so uh, uh, CIA means confidentiality, uh, 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 integrity and, and, and availability. So uh, uh, those are a lot of the things that, that, that your security vulnerability are, are uh, going to have give you problems. So uh, uh, there are uh, very uh, <coughs> uh, things that you uh, need to address in terms of uh, requirements. Uh, uh, e even the functional requirements will, uh, uh, if, if they are uh, conflicting with each other, uh, turn you into a non-functional in, 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 uh, <clears throat> in compatibilities in your software. Uh, uh, development uh, features and controls and components, but uh, again, you want to uh, 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 address uh, threats to uh, uh, insecure development by uh, threat modeling or uh, penetration testing, and you want to me measure well, how much uh, software have you built in terms of lines of code or function points or objective points, and how do those uh, correlate with uh, the uh, uh, levels of, of uh, application that, uh, that you're going to uh, uh, be dealing with. 
So uh, yeah, here here's the uh, uh, composition of the software security group. Uh, uh, LinkedIn is a uh, uh, a uh, an organization that uh, uh, various uh, people uh, uh, subscribe to and have discussions on. So there is a software security group, and she was able to uh, uh, do a, a query of of the people that were in this group, and uh, so there were 110 people that. Uh, uh, did complete res responses out of 29 countries. Uh, uh, she she uh, uh, incentivized them for doing this by saying the, the, the person that uh, uh, does the, the most uh, significant things will uh, get a, a free $100 uh, dollar Amazon uh, 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 ticket. Um, and so uh, there, there was a motivation for doing it, but there was also a motivation for the security group to see what the, the each of themselves were uh, uh, most uh, uh, concerned with. And so you can see that uh, the biggest ones were security experts, uh, but there were managers and software developers and project leaders and, and the like. So you, you had a pretty good uh, 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 view of uh, the, the people that were uh, involved in, in security issues and, and, and the like. So uh, she asked a bunch of questions about, yeah, which security practices does your organization apply? Uh, are there standards and toolings and, and uh, lists of vulnerabilities or requirements or test sticking? Uh, uh, or having processes that uh, that check for security as you go along, or uh, looking at your technical stack and making sure that it has integrity and doesn't have security uh, breaches between the, the various uh, levels of the stack, uh, and security review, debt monitoring, and then so you can see there's a, a lot of uh, <coughs> things that uh, that. Uh, uh, and again, this was uh, a uh, uh, an ordered list of, of you know, which things most people, most organizations were, were doing. So uh, uh, here you can see uh, that, uh, in terms of applying secure coding standards, uh, this was something that uh, 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 many organizations were 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 doing uh, some of them every day, some of them every week, some every every month, and, and so you can see uh, yeah, which which things are most used in in the uh, the software community in in terms of uh, of uh, applying standards, uh, doing tooling, track tracking vulnerability, uh, uh, applying requirements, doing testing. Uh, uh, and uh, so uh, again, the, this was all uh, uh, valuable in terms of, uh, of, uh, of uh, insights for organizations that were trying to make sure that they were doing all of the things that were important and uh, doing them uh, in some cases every day, but in some cases once a month. And again, uh, uh, the, the responses uh, had different uh, development types. Uh, uh, a good many of the uh, projects that were being uh, uh, addressed uh, were new developments, but most of them were enhancements. Uh, uh, some were migration to uh, some other uh, 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 set of, uh, of services that the software was trying to do. And in some cases, it was uh, taking some software that was uh, buggy and, and, uh, and redeveloping it. Uh, and uh, so uh, that was useful information. Uh, 
So uh, here were a few uh, uh, quotes uh, getting people to truly stop and understand 100% why the rest practices are need can be a challenge when people get focused on delivery dates. Uh, uh, once you explain uh, what could happen if uh, it, uh, uh, you get done uh, uh, a month earlier and then you have 10 times as many defects and security breaches. So, uh, so if, if uh, uh, another quote from a, an experienced manager said uh, con convincing project manager to incorporate security related time and effort and, uh, and saying always people uh, concerned with security uh, so again, it's, it's important to uh, uh, address it in your business logic and not just your software development. So uh, uh, again, another question that she asked the, uh, uh, the LinkedIn people was, uh, you know, how, how is effort for software security estimated in, in your organization? Because that's what she was trying to build a model to help the, uh, help other organizations estimate uh, how much uh, security was going to cost for for building it into their system. So uh, so uh, again, uh, 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 what uh, what she found was that there there was a lot of, uh, of um, information about uh, which which of those previous things were. Uh, uh, most use or, or least used. Uh, and uh, another thing that uh, she has done is, is to uh, uh, research other models that, that uh, have been tried for costing secure software development. So we'll uh, summarize some of those. So uh, uh, there was one uh, uh, approach that was uh, relatively early in 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 the, in the cost area that uh, Don Reefer was a, a co-author of the uh, uh, Kokomo two uh, cost model, uh, and uh, he he was uh, 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 was also uh, an expert in in security, so he came up with a uh, a set of, uh, of cost driver uh, multipliers that said, yeah, if, if your uh, uh, security needs to be extra high, had 75% per line of code. Uh, and uh, uh, there was another uh, 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 model called uh, the constructive security model uh, that uh, one of our graduate students did in 2008 uh, that uh, uh, tried to use the uh, uh, engineered assurance levels, uh, which uh, basically uh, uh, ask, you know, what, what have you done to uh, assure that uh, your software is uh, 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 completely secure and uh, so what you can see is that assurance level three is, is uh, well, doing nothing is is uh, is, uh, is is uh, often the case, but uh, 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 the higher you went with the engineered assurance level, the uh, more effort it took. So uh, uh, in that case, uh, uh, there were. Uh, uh, pieces of software that were extremely uh, 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 critical to the application. And they were usually some core of, of the system that uh, uh, you had to do a mat mathematical proof of correctness of, of, uh, of the software. And uh, so uh, those kind of things uh, could uh, uh, take uh, uh, 7.8 times more uh, 
uh, effort than, than actually building that part of the system, or in some cases, uh, uh, more, more like 31. Uh, at times the amount of effort it took to to uh, build the build each line of code. So uh, so again, what you saw was that, uh, that if you're doing mathematical proof of correctness, that, that uh, it, it's going to be uh, a, a very high productivity range. Uh, but uh, most of the systems were not uh, addressing the the, uh, uh, the, the super high uh, approaches. So uh, again, uh, yeah, there was a weapon system cost model that uh, that had been developed. That uh, uh, the productivity range was uh, between nothing and and uh, lots of effort uh, was. Uh, uh, Eighty-seven percent higher for uh, uh, for a very high or ultra high uh, uh, secure software, and uh, 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 so another one had a uh, uh, Kokomo two based uh, model that uh, uh, said that super high was. Uh, Three to three point seven five uh, per line of code more expensive than, than nominal, uh, and so you can see that uh, there were a, a number of, uh, of uh, different things in, in the literature that uh, had uh, been uh, uh, addressed, and uh, and in some cases uh, like the. the Function points where we're basically not, not looking at uh, uh, how how, uh, how much effort it was, but just uh, how much uh, how many function points more did you have? And in, in a lot of those cases, it was uh, uh, something that uh, was not not a very big uh, uh, activity and. Uh, uh, most of the uh, uh, function point people were uh, uh, business applications that were not uh, as security concerned as, as others, so you don't see a big productivity range there. So uh, again, what you can see is uh, <coughs> that uh, uh, as as Elaine did surveys of, of uh, various people and then saying, uh, what what do you think the uh, 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 multiplier should be for nominal and high and very high and extra high and super high and the like? So uh, again, what you could see is that uh, that that one was a factor. Of 32 was uh, the one that uh, did mathematical proofs of correctness, but uh, uh, most of the uh, 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 other uh, avail available cost models were more uh, like uh, not even going up to super high and ultra high and generally being somewhere around a factor of two uh, to uh, 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 have an extra high level of, of security uh, cost per line of code. So uh, the Kokomo 2 security extension uh, basically uh, uh, said that, uh, and again, it was one of these uh, things where you got a bunch of, of experts to uh, uh, converge on on the the the, the range of uh, going at two higher and higher levels or lower levels uh, uh, was uh, more like uh, one point eight five or uh, so uh, so again uh, uh, that uh, gives you an idea of uh, what uh, uh, different uh, answers you can get in terms of uh, what should a model for estimating software security costs uh, 
uh, uh, give you. All right. So again, uh, uh, here, here's the uh, <clears throat> uh, comparison of these in terms of uh, uh, which one uh, starts uh, below one at, at low and then uh, the rest of them go from no nominal to extra high and super high. And uh, so most of them are in, in, in roughly the same uh, ballpark in terms of uh, adding more and more uh, levels of security. So uh, what are some open issues and opportunities? Uh, so uh, again, uh, uh, there are other uh, 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 activities that, that go on to, uh, uh, if an organization uh, certifies that their system is secure, uh, that, that's a, 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 an additional activity and, and a source of effort that uh, needs to be uh, concerned about. Uh, 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 one of the things that uh, one would like to do is to uh, uh, take something like uh, squad and uh, and uh, uh, do benchmarks of its evolution in terms of you know, what did uh, sonar cube and find bugs and uh, uh, find in, in terms of, uh, of security problems. Uh, certification is expensive, uh, and uh, so uh, again, that's uh, uh, a good example that uh, one organization that uh, specialized in uh, in giving you security certification was saying that uh, uh, for engineering assurance level three, uh, it'll cost you forty dollars and. Uh, uh, per line of code for us to certify that it's secure. If, if it's uh, got, got to be at level seven, it's going to take, uh, it's going to cost you a thousand dollars per line of code for us to do a mathematical uh, proof of correctness certification of your, of your software. So uh, again, uh, the uh, 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 Multipliers tend to be defined around the, the depth and, and rigor of the design uh, and the reviews and, and the other kinds of uh, uh, testing and, and, uh, and, and the like that uh, are, are adding to the cost of making sure that the system is, is secure. Uh, in general, uh, yeah, uh, uh, there is, there, there was not a, a single uh, uh, secure cost model that we found that was uh, good for everything in general. So the, 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 what's been going on now is that she has been uh, having a group of, of experts uh, uh, capturing uh, the uh, activities that go on at, at uh, uh, to uh, as you go through the uh, uh, software life cycle and uh, uh, what uh, added uh, effort it's going to take for each one of those activities. And, and again, uh, the early activities are not as expensive as, as the ones that get your full, almost ready to field system and having, spending a lot of time getting people to try to break it or uh, trying to mathematically prove the, the correctness of its kernel or, or things like that. So uh, again, uh, 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 no model has been properly validated with industry data. So we're still trying to uh, get more data from industry. Uh, uh, and uh, we're trying to go evolve from Kokomo 2 to Kokomo 3, which has a number of additional uh, features besides security that it's trying to uh, address. Uh, and uh, there, there are, uh, again, a lot of these open source software repository, repositories. So again, uh, tools like Squad can help you analyze them and, and try to uh, 
uh, in, in for a, a, a cost of, uh, uh, of security from the uh, data that you get from those. Oops. So uh, again, uh, we, we have a, a modeling methodology that we do for each one of these uh, cost models. And so uh, uh, that's the kind of thing that uh, Elaine is doing, analyzing the existing literature, behavioral analysis, determining the form of the model, deforming, uh, getting people's expert judgment, uh, gathering data, uh, determining a, uh, a, uh, uh, an update once you get new data and gathering more data and refining the model and, and until it uh, looks pretty solid. So uh, the, the proposed model form is basically saying that the, the number of person months is uh, some constant times the, the size. So uh, again, if you're going to have more security, you're going to have more uh, 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 lines of code that are dealing with the security, and then they may have a different exponent than uh, uh, than uh, uh, the, the uh, overall size of a new system, or you may have a uh, uh, a single uh, 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 multiplicative function that just says, you know, what, what's your, what's the security level that you're trying to do? Uh, and uh, uh, in some cases, there will be uh, 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 a combination of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, uh, of effort multipliers that, uh, that, uh, multiply together to give you the number of person months. So, so uh, that's uh, pretty much the kind of thing that uh, Elaine is, is doing. And again, uh, 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 we're at, uh, starting to get some data. And uh, uh, again, uh, 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 COSECMO, 2021 is uh, basically what we are uh, hoping we will uh, be able to finish up by next year and then have a, a, a fairly solid uh, model. Uh, and again, this will involve uh, uh, more uh, 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 in interviews and, and experience uh, surveys from, from experts uh, in security or experts in estimation, uh, uh, trying to get data from, from industry. Uh, so we have a data collection form for that. Uh, and uh, again, uh, using the squad kind of thing that uh, if you can uh, automate the data collection of the uh, uh, evolution of the system and uh, what part of it is, is uh, uh, been uh, 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 had to be spent more to uh, make sure it was secure. Oh, there's uh, also some references. So uh, if you're interested in, in more uh, uh, inf information about these, uh, the, these are the, the best uh, 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 sources that we found so far. So uh, again, uh, you, know, you can see that uh, Elaine has done a couple of papers that uh, have been uh, accepted at, uh, at different uh, large uh, uh, professional society conferences. So I think that uh, winds us up. Thanks so much for the presentation, Barry. Uh, I know this is gonna lead to a lot of conversation and already has. Um, just for timekeeping sake, uh, if everyone can join us back into the main stage uh, to hear closing remarks by uh, our deputy director and executive director, uh, Tom McDermott and Dinesh Verma. Um, thank you again, everyone, for joining us for today's session. The conversation in the chat and the Q&A can continue to happen, um, and you can visit some of the presentations you weren't able to uh, check out live um, throughout uh, this week and the beginning of next week into to, uh, Thanksgiving is when we'll be closing down the platform and 
moving all the artifacts onto the CERC website. Um, but thank you again, Dr. Bain, for your great presentation. And thank you again, everybody, for joining us today. Okay, thanks for being there. And uh, we'll be looking forward to your comments.